Hi, I'm Jubrela Kiwande. I made this simple video to show how to configure microwave uh, link aggregation on OWI um, RTN 905. So we look at uh, why do we configure microwave link aggregation. First, uh, you look at the scenario where you have a limited uh, bandwidth per link. For example, most links has like a maximum of 200 megabit per second per link. But if you want to transmit a service of like 800 megabit per second, definitely uh, one single link is inadequate. There seems to be a lot of congestion. So with link aggregation protocol, we can have four links and use link aggregation protocol to combine them together in order to have increased bandwidth of 800 megabit per second. Also, you can look at uh, link aggregation uh, protocol for link protection. For example, if uh, one of our links is out, we stay out link 2, 3, and 4 to carry our service. So by this way, we can provide a uh, link protection. So now we look at how to configure this in Huawei. So this is our service planning. We have a plan to configure a static uh, LAG with a uh, load sharing and we shall have uh, two transmission ports, two microwave and two plus zero link, one on 3 ISV3 via ISV3 on point A and point B. Okay, now we start with the configuration on NEA to NED, NED to NEA. So we start with NEA. What we want to do is to create load sharing using link aggregation protocol on 4 ISV3 and 3 ISV3. So we go to configuration. Yes, uh, configuration. Interface management. Link aggregation group management. So we see there is no um, configuration here. We go to new. So we set a lag name based on our service plan. Lag protection. Uh, lag type static. Link detection protocol, we leave it at null. Uh, revertive, load sharing. We want to choose load sharing so we don't need uh, revertive. So we choose uh, sharing. System priority, leave as default. Package receive timeout period. Uh, we want it to be short so that if there's any interruption, we can quickly uh, restore the service. Switch lag upon hair interface. If there's any problem on the air interface, we want uh, the lag protocol to be activated. So we choose enabled. Now, this on our service plan, we want 3 ISV3 as our main port. So we choose 3 ISV3 here. We want uh, 4 ISV3 as our standby ports. Yes, we choose this here. Then, okay. Now we've created um, LAG lag on these two links on 4 ISV3 and 3 ISV3. We can see we can see it's out of service. The main port is out of service. The standby port is out of service because we've not configured the remote end. So now we configure the remote end. Okay, we go um, from configuration to interface management and then link aggregation group management. Okay, we go to new. So we make our name LAG protection. You can give any name, but uh, we like this is descriptive. 
the lock type is static load sharing sharing for packet receive timeout short period yes we want to enable the switch energy upon here interface main port is 3 isv3 the standby port is uh, 4 isv3 so we okay this Okay, we can see that both our 3 ISV3 is in service, standby port 5 ISV3 is in service. So we go back to the remote end, we check, um, let's do a query, now both are in service because we've created the other end. So now both sites are carrying traffic. So, if you want to uh, to check, this is a way to check if you want to know both sides are carrying traffic. If there's a problem on one side of the link, uh, we can simulate that so that you see what happens. We simulate that, we go to microwave link configuration. We mute one side of the link in order to simulate like we have a link failure. We have this. So we can see there's an alarm here, like there's a link problem on this. So we check what's the impact here. Come oh, query. Now we see our uh, 3 ISV3 is out of service because there's a problem on the link. Is out of service. Is not carrying traffic. But the good thing is 4 ISV3 is in service. It's still carrying traffic. So with our LAG load sharing, we have two two benefits. We share our traffic for capacity enhancement increased bandwidth and at the same time we enjoy link protection if one uh, side of the link is down the other side will carry the traffic we also have um, additional parameters you can set i like to leave this at default but you can you can set the priorities to determine which uh, port is giving priority over one another you can you can set the the sharing algorithm to based on source mark address source and destination mark address destination ip address you, you can set and anything based on the service planning we like to leave this as automatic so this is how to configure leg on how to an io5 pretty simple if you like this video please give me a thumbs up in my video and then watch out for new videos thank you